I don't know what. I don't know what the hell you thinking about because I wasn't in no case or nothing. So nigga even like just saying like, oh you snitch on who? I was I was never in no case. See what I'm saying? But you know niggas, it be that that go back to the internet shit. I don't I don't really I don't really be feeding into it because motherfuckers don't know. If you I really from the street, where I'm from like if you snitch, bro, that shit is in paperwork. This shit is a document. Gunna took a plea deal to leave jail, and the very first thing he did after he got out is reveal why he is no longer YSL. Gunna may be out of jail, but he's got major problems coming his way. Ever since he walked out, he's been under a lot of scrutiny, and not for the right reasons. See, almost the entire hip-hop community immediately labeled Gunna to be a snitch. Not because he walked out of jail, not because of his statement to the press. If you read the document, you might actually believe that he didn't really snitch. Rather, he's now deemed a snitch because of the courtroom hearing that got leaked and that showed him saying, yes ma'am, for days and days. Yes ma'am. So what's up with Gunna now? And is he still YSL? Well, we're not so sure anymore, but let's first rewind a couple of weeks back and see how we got here. Gunna and a number of other YSL members were accused of violating the RICO Act last summer. As a result, 20 plus members of Young Slime Life were arrested, with Gunna and Young Thug being the most famous names of the group. The main accusation that the prosecutors came up with against YSL was that they're not just a record label, but a full on street gang that's involved in some heavy duty crime. And to top it all up, off. The head of this crime syndicate is none other than the king of slime himself, Young Thug. Sergio Kitchens, who we all know better by his rap name, Gunna, was locked up for seven months, but he was released not too long ago. Gunna took a plea deal, and he's serving the rest of his sentence on parole. He's got to follow a number of rules that he agreed upon for a few years, and after that, his name is going to be cleared. In his official statement, Gunna claimed that he got released without talking to the cops about his friends from YSL. He told the press, While I have agreed to always be truthful, I want to make it perfectly clear that I have not made any statements, have not been interviewed, have not cooperated, have not agreed to testify or be a witness for or against any party in the case, and have absolutely no intention of being involved in the trial process in any way. Both Gunna and his lawyers fought from the very day Gunna was released in order to somehow keep some dignity to his name. However, they're not really doing such a good job. Most of the folks who know something about Gunna believe he really did talk. Gunna appeared in front of a lot of journalists a few days ago, and and his slouch tells a lot about how he was feeling. It's not good. People noticed it too. That boy walking like he told. <laughs> Gunna's walk of shame. But he had another chance to talk a bit more about the whole situation that he found himself in since he got released. A video turned up a few days ago in which Charlemagne, the god, interviewed Gunna, and the two talked a little bit about the famous video of Gunna snitching in front of the court. After his claims in that video, we're not so sure what the hell is going on with Gunna and this YSL Rico case. The video goes like this. I don't know what, I don't know what the hell you thinking about because I wasn't in no case or nothing. So nigga even like just saying like, oh you snitched on who? I was, I was never in no case. See what I'm saying? But you know niggas, it be that, that go back to the internet shit. I don't, I don't really, I don't really be feeding into it because motherfuckers don't know. If you, I'm really from the street, where I'm from like, if you snitch, bro, this shit is in paperwork, this shit is a document. Now there's a couple of things to be said about their short conversation, so let's get straight into it. First of all, Gunna addressed the internet claims that he saw recently, claiming that he's on Crime Stoppers, basically that he's giving out information to the police in order to prevent criminal activity. That, according to him, is all false information. He's never been one of those people, and he's never going to abandon the street code. People, on the other hand, don't seem to agree with this claim of his. For the people online, he's still a snitch. Doesn't matter what you call it. He is not a snitch. He has class. He's a confidential informant. Another person online shared the same idea. They wrote, be lying in them songs and telling the truth in them courtrooms. Now, Gunna also said in the video with Charlemagne that he wasn't accused in the case. This made matters so damn confusing for everyone. What he actually meant with this sentence is not quite clear. There was a case against him, obviously. He's literally still serving the sentence. Perhaps he was referring to Young Thug's case? If that is what he was actually talking about, he's still lying because he is in fact involved in that case as well. He was in the car with the Young Thug when he got arrested and admitted it in front of the whole court. If that doesn't mean he's involved, then I don't know what does. But there is also the possibility of Gunna saying that there is no case against him because he's not an SYL. Therefore, you cannot say that he's guilty, but that too makes very little sense given that he admitted of being a YSL member already. In the end, he put the blame for being called a snitch on the internet. The only reason why he's called a snitch is because of all the comments and videos servicing online about him, and not because he actually gave out information to the cops. He claimed that he's really from the streets, and that snitching means that there has to be some paperwork claiming that he actually gave out information. 
Now, we can't yet claim that there is such a paper. Perhaps there is. We don't know until the official documents of Young Thug's trial get released. However, one can safely assume that he already put Thugger's trial in jeopardy, simply due to the fact that he confirmed a lot of the suspicions that the prosecutors had about Thug. That is already a form of snitching. So do you believe that Gunna is talking nonsense? Or does his story make sense to you? Is he a snitch? Or is he just losing track of what he's supposed to say? Tell us more about what you think about Gunna and whether or not he's still a YSL member. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, then leave a comment, like, share, and of course, subscribe for more. As always, remember to keep it rizzle.